Chapter 3 And Enoch lived sixty-five years and he begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with Elohim after having begot Methuselah, and he served the Most High, and despised the evil ways of men. And the soul of Enoch was wrapped up in the instruction of the Most High, in knowledge and in understanding. And he wisely retired from the sons of men, and secreted himself from them for many days. And it was at the expiration of many years, whilst he was serving the Most High, and praying before him in his house, that an angel of the Most High called to him from heaven, and he said, Here am I. And he said, Rise, go forth from thy house and from the place where thou dost hide thyself, and appear to the sons of men, in order that thou mayest teach them the way in which they should go and the work which they must accomplish to enter in the ways of Elohim. And Enoch rose up according to the word of the Most High, and went forth from his house, from his place and from the chamber in which he was concealed. And he went to the sons of men and taught them the ways of the Most High and at that time assembled the sons of men and acquainted them with the instruction of the Most High. And he ordered it to be proclaimed in all places where the sons of men dwelt, saying, Where is the man who wishes to know the ways of the Most High and good works? Let him come to Enoch. And all the sons of men then assembled to him, for all who desired this thing went to Enoch. And Enoch reigned over the sons of men according to the word of the Most High, and they came and bowed to him and they heard his word. And the spirit of Elohim was upon Enoch, and he taught all as men the wisdom of Elohim and his ways, and the sons of men served the Most High all the days of Enoch, and they came to hear his wisdom. And all the kings of the sons of men, both first and last, together with their princes and judges, came to Enoch when they heard of his wisdom, and they bowed down to him, and they also required of Enoch to reign over them, to which he consented. And they assembled in all, one hundred and thirty kings and princes, and they made Enoch king over them and they were all under his power and command. And Enoch taught them wisdom, knowledge, and the ways of the Most High. And he made peace amongst them, and peace was throughout the earth during the life of Enoch. And Enoch reigned over the sons of men two hundred and forty-three years, and he did justice and righteousness with all his people, and he led them in the ways of the Most High. And these are the generations of Enoch, Methuselah, Elisha, and Elimelech, three sons. And their sisters were Melchah and Nama, and Methuselah lived eighty-seven years and he begat Lamech. And it was in the fifty-sixth year of the life of Lamech when Adam died. Nine hundred and thirty years old was he at his death, and his two sons, with Enoch and Methuselah his son, buried him with great pomp, as at the burial of kings, in the cave which Elohim had told him. And in that place all the sons of men made a great mourning and weeping on account of Adam. It has therefore become a custom among the sons of men to this day. And Adam died because he ate of the tree of knowledge. He and his children after him, as the Most High Elohim had spoken. And it was in the year of Adam's death which was the 243rd year of the reign of Enoch. In that time Enoch resolved to separate himself from the sons of men and to secret himself as at first in order to serve the Most High. And Enoch did so, but did not entirely secret himself from them, but kept away from the sons of men three days and then went to them for one day. And during the three days that he was in his chamber, he prayed to, and praised the Most High his Elohim, and the day on which he went and appeared to his subjects he taught them the ways of the Most High, and all they asked him about the Most High he told them. And he did in this manner for many years, and he afterward concealed himself for six days, and appeared to his people one day in seven. And after that once in a month, and then once in a year, until all the kings, princes and sons of men sought for him, and desired again to see the face of Enoch, and to hear his word. But they could not, as all the sons of men were greatly afraid of Enoch 
and they feared to approach him on account of the godlike awe that was seated upon his countenance. Therefore no man could look at him, fearing he might be punished and die. And all the kings and princes resolved to assemble the sons of men, and to come to Enoch, thinking that they might all speak to him at the time when he should come forth amongst them, and they did so. And the day came when Enoch went forth and they all assembled and came to him, and Enoch spoke to them the words of the Most High and he taught them wisdom and knowledge, and they bowed down before him and they said, May the king live! May the king live! And in some time after, when the kings and princes and the sons of men were speaking to Enoch, and Enoch was teaching them the ways of Elohim, Behold an angel of the Most High then called unto Enoch from heaven, and wished to bring him up to heaven to make him reign there over the sons of Elohim, as he had reigned over the sons of men upon earth. When at that time Enoch heard this he went and assembled all the inhabitants of the earth, and taught them wisdom and knowledge and gave them divine instructions, and he said to them, I have been required to ascend into heaven. I therefore do not know the day of my going. And now therefore I will teach you wisdom and knowledge and will give you instruction before I leave you, how to act upon earth whereby you may live. And he did so. And he taught them wisdom and knowledge, and gave them instruction, and he reproved them, and he placed before them statutes and judgments to do upon earth, and he made peace amongst them, and he taught them everlasting life, and dwelt with them some time teaching them all these things. And at that time the sons of men were with Enoch, and Enoch was speaking to them, and they lifted up their eyes and the likeness of a great horse descended from heaven, and the horse paced in the air. And they told Enoch what they had seen, and Enoch said to them, On my account does this horse descend upon earth? The time is come when I must go from you and I shall no more be seen by you. And the horse descended at that time and stood before Enoch, and all the sons of men that were with Enoch saw him. And Enoch then again ordered a voice to be proclaimed, saying, Where is the man who delighteth to know the ways of the Most High his Elohim? Let him come this day to Enoch before he is taken from us. And all the sons of men assembled and came to Enoch that day. And all the kings of the earth with their princes and counselors remained with him that day. And Enoch then taught the sons of men wisdom and knowledge, and gave them divine instruction. And he bade them serve the Most High and walk in his ways all the days of their lives, and he continued to make peace amongst them. And it was after this that he rose up and rode upon the horse. And he went forth and all the sons of men went after him, about eight hundred thousand men. And they went with him one day's journey. And the second day he said to them, Return home to your tents, why will you go? Perhaps you may die. And some of them went from him, and those that remained went with him six days' journey. And Enoch said to them every day, Return to your tents, lest you may die. But they were not willing to return, and they went with him. And on the sixth day some of the men remained and clung to him, and they said to him, We will go with thee to the place where thou goest. As the Most High liveth, death only shall separate us. And they urged so much to go with him, that he ceased speaking to them. And they went after him and would not return. And when the kings returned they caused a census to be taken, in order to know the number of remaining men that went with Enoch. And it was upon the seventh day that Enoch ascended into heaven in a whirlwind, with horses and chariots of fire. And on the eighth day all the kings that had been with Enoch sent to bring back the number of men that were with Enoch, in that place from which he ascended into heaven. And all those kings went to the place and they found the earth there filled with snow and upon the snow were large stones of snow, and one said to the other, Come, let us break through the snow and see, perhaps the men that remain with Enoch are dead, and are now under the stones of snow, and they searched but could not find him, for he had ascended into heaven.